Section 5, give her the limit. Chaplin. He was born in London, England on April 16th, 1889. His father was a vocalist and actor and his mother known under the stage name of Lily Harley. She was an attractive actress and singer who gained a reputation for her work in the light opera field. Charlie was thrown on his own resources before he reached the age of 10 as the early death of his father and the subsequent illness of his mother. For that reason, it made it necessary for Charlie and his brother Sidney to fend for themselves. Having inherited natural talents from their parents, the youngsters took the stage as the best opportunity for a career. Charlie made his professional debut as a member of a group called the Eight Lancia Lads and rapidly won popular favor as an outstanding tap dancer. Charlie started a career as a comedian in Vidival, which eventually took him to the United States in 1910. In the same year, Chaplin went to the United States to tour in a night in an English music hall. He was chosen by filmmaker Max Sennett to appear in the silent Keystone comedy series. In these early movies, Chaplin changed his style. He stopped overacting and became more delicate and precise. He created the role of the tramp. In 1917, Chaplin decided to become an independent producer in a desire for more freedom and greater leisure in making his movies. To that end, he busied himself with the construction of his own studios. This plant was situated in the heart of the residential section of Hollywood at La Brea Vineyard. Chaplin made many hits in his masterpieces, like The Kid, 1921, A Woman in Paris, 1923, The Gold Rush, 1925, The Circus, 1928. And many, many others. Chaplin's versatility extended to writing, music, and sports. He was the author of at least four books.
He died on Christmas Day 1977, survived by eight children from his last marriage with Ona O'Neill and one son from his short marriage to Lita Gray. Thank you, Charlie, for amusing us.